Welcome to the Electron X Lab. In this video, I'm going to simulate this circuit to confirm that the results I got in a previous video where I calculated the voltage across the resistor, voltage across the inductor, the voltage across the capacitor, and the current through all the devices by hand. And you can find a link to that original video in the description and at the end of this video. I'm going to use LT Spice and I'll show you how to use the AC sweep simulation to get all the values you care about at the frequency of interest by using the generated bode plots and the cursor. So let's jump over to LT Spice. Okay, I've got a blank circuit and I'm just going to start building. I'm going to rotate this resistor three times so that the current measurement will be in the right orientation. And I will just rotate the capacitor once. Now assign values. For the voltage source, I need to go into advanced and I need to set the AC amplitude to 120. The resistor is 250 ohms. The inductor is 650 millihenries. And the capacitor is 1.5 microfarads. And I'll do an AC sweep. So I'll just drop in dot AC, right click on it and set the points. I'll do a linear sleep, a linear sweep. The number of points doesn't matter as long as it's more than one. My start frequency is 60, and the stop frequency doesn't matter as long as it's bigger than 60. I only care about the voltages and currents at 60 hertz, and I'll show you how to get that in the simulation. Just realize that you didn't see the menu. I don't think it's that important. Now, before I jump into simulate, I am going to add some labels. So I'll call the voltage from the source. I'll just call that source. I'll call this node here between the resistor and the inductor. I'll call that one L1 plus C1. And then I'll call this voltage between the capacitor and the inductor C1. Now I simulate and I can start adding traces to this Bode plot. The only voltage that's measured with respect to ground is this voltage across C1. So I'm going to add that one first. And then I'm going to go up to the Bode plot and I'm going to go add traces. And here's where I can add traces where it's based on math. So if I go this L1 plus C1 minus the voltage across C1, that's the voltage across the inductor. And then if I go and add another trace and I call that the source voltage minus this L1 plus C1 voltage, that's the resistor voltage. So there's the three voltages that I care about. I'll come back and do the currents in just a sec. Now, the only point that I care about is down here at 60 hertz. And if I click on, let's say, C1, I get this cursor that pops up, and I can drag that all the way over to the left, which is at 60 hertz, and I can bring up this reading. And this shows me the magnitude and the phase at 60 hertz of the voltage across the capacitor. Now, you'll notice that the magnitude is in dB, or more, more precisely, it's dBV. I can actually change that so it's giving me the measurement in voltage. So if I go over here to the vertical axis where it's giving me all these measurements in dB and I right click over there, I can select linear logarithmic or decibel. If I go into linear and click OK, you can see that it's changed to voltage. And now my reading here for VC1 at 60 hertz gives me the value in volts. So it's 137.46425 volts with a phase angle of negative 9.32 degrees. And if I click on this one, this gives me the voltage across the inductor. It is 19.05 volts with a phase angle of 170.68 degrees. And finally, if I click on the red label here, that will read that will give me the reading for the voltage across the resistor of 19.433 volts with a phase angle of 80.68 degrees. The last thing I need is the current. So if I go down and click on the schematic again. And if I put the cursor over the resistor here, you can see that the arrow for the current is pointing in this direction, which is the proper orientation. So if I click on that, it will give me the current through the resistor up here. Kind of disappears amongst all that noise, but that's okay. If I click on IR1, it'll give me the reading in this window right here. 77.73 milliamps with a phase angle of 80.68 degrees. And summarizing all those results from the simulation, you can see the resistor voltage, the inductor voltage, the capacitor voltage, and the current through the three devices right here. And this matches up directly with the values that I got when I did this calculation by hand. And I invite you to check out the video that I did where I did all those calculations by hand. You can find the link in the description and at the end of this video. This example came from a free online open source textbook. And I also invite you to check out that textbook. 
And you can find a link to a website that has the book as well as example problems, practice problems, tutorials, and more videos to help you learn all about AC and DC circuits as well as electronics. And maybe by the time you're listening to this, so much more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.